to start off this QuickBooks online training series, I'm going to show you how to add your company logo, company name, company contact details to QuickBooks online. And the way we do that is simply by going to this gear cog icon at the top right of QuickBooks online. Under your company, there is an option for account and settings. Now, as mentioned in the previous video, the your company list might not appear here, it might be somewhere else, it might be in the center here. Your layout may be slightly different, but there should be a heading that says your company with account and settings. Now, before I click on that, let me just talk a bit about the layout on QuickBooks Online. It only takes 10 to 20 seconds. On the left-hand sidebar, there are options here that access a number of different accounting modules on QuickBooks Online, such as an invoicing module, an expenses module, a reports module. Anytime you want to do anything accounting related on QuickBooks Online, you're likely going to do that by accessing a module, an accounting module in this left-hand sidebar. Whereas if you want to do something more account management related, such as adding users, changing defaults on QuickBooks, QuickBooks Online, changing the subscription you've got with QuickBooks Online, that's going to be at the top right here using that gear icon or the icon next to it where you can sign out and do other things. But let's click on this gear icon, go to account and settings. Under the company tab, this is where we can add the company logo, company name, etc. Now there are other tabs here which we'll go through later on in this course and in other videos um, about QuickBooks online. Okay, so company name, let's add the logo first of all. We can see there's a pencil mark here. We don't have to click on the icon, we can just click anywhere and then we can start filling in this information. So our company logo, we're going to add a nice picture of the bookkeeping master on here. So here it is, the bookkeeping master. We'll add that on, we'll take a moment to upload. So you simply find the file on your computer, your laptop, whatever it is, upload it to QuickBooks Online, save it, and then that logo will now be saved on the company account. And anytime you raise an invoice or other reports, that logo will show. Now it's really important that you fill in the information on this page and always fill in as much information as you can on QuickBooks Online because the more information you put on QuickBooks Online, the more efficient the software will be for you. As an example, if we fill in the information on this page, then this information will appear on our sales invoices. So if we enter the company email address, the company website, then when we send an invoice to a customer, those things will appear on that invoice. So it's really important to fill in as much as you can. So the company name, let's just say it's gonna be the bookkeeping master. LTD. If the legal name is different to the company name, you can untick this box and put in a different legal name. For most of you, it's going to be the same. If the company is in the UK and is a registered limited company, you can put in the company's house registration number here. If it's not registered in the UK, you may have a different option here, but you can put in the company number just here and we can save that. Company type, there's a number of different types here. For most of you, the business is going to be a sole trader, so a sole proprietor, or it's going to be some sort of corporation like a limited company. There are non-profit organizations such as charities and other options here. You just select whichever is most relevant to the entity you're accounting for on QuickBooks Online. So let's do an, a corporation here. Now your industry, I'm gonna put in accounting. Well, let's put in education and see what comes up. Okay, so we have education, lots, educational services. Okay, now the reason why QuickBooks Online asks this information, number one, it's for their own benefits. They can keep track of the industries that are using their services. But for your benefit, the chart of accounts will be tailored to whatever you've put in here. 
And there's other uses for filling in this information as well. As mentioned earlier, just fill in as much as you can because it's going to help you later on. Company email address, okay. If you have a different customer facing email address, you can untick that and fill in that. Company number, so let's put in just a fake number here. 567890. The website, so you put in the business website free bookkeepingaccounting.com. That's my website. Let's save that. Let's move on to the next box. So we've done the logo, the name, we have the company type, contact information, and we also have the address information. So let's fill that in. So one, two, three, example street, example city. There are options here if you have a different legal address and different customer facing address to the company address. Now for most of you, it's gonna be the same address for all three, but if you do need to untick any of these, then you can fill the relevant boxes in. So let's save that. Okay, once we're happy, we can just click done and that information will now be added onto QuickBooks Online. You can see the business name has now changed to the Bookkeeper Master Limited. That logo and other information that I've added to QuickBooks Online is stored on the software and will be useful as this series goes on.